Hello and welcome to the info channel. This is going to be your quick down and dirty guide on Wrath of the Lich King Blood Death Knight. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Now let's get into it. First, what does a Death Knight bring to the raid? They can bring four things to your raid. Abomination's Might, which is 10% attack power. Improved Icy Talons. 20% haste, improved icy touch, 6% debuff to attack speed, and horn of winter, which is a strength and agility buff. Second, what's the best race though? If you're on the alliance, Drowneye is going to be number one because of heroic presence. Number two will be dwarf with stone form and mace specialization. Three, human with sword and mace specialization. And number four, night elf because of quickness. On the horde side, orc is going to be number one because of axe specialization and blood fury. Number two, will be a troll with berserking and regeneration and number three will be torn because of endurance third what talent points should i be choosing this is going to be the most standard build where you are going for improved icy touch and improved icy talent if you are not using a two-handed weapon you can remove the points from the two-handed weapon specialization and move them into different talents like mark of blood or bloody vengeance or blood worms this is the second build you can go for you are no longer talenting for improved icy talons as you are going for morbidity morbidity increases the damage and healing of your death coil and it reduces the cooldown of your death and decay again if you don't use a two-handed weapon make sure you remove those talent points and put them in something else fourth your glyphs your major glyphs should be dark command vampiric blood and disease if you are going more for aoe you can replace vampiric blood with death and decay your minor glyphs should be horn of winter raised dead and pestilence five what's my rotation for your opener you're going to want to make sure you have that frost presence active start by using army of the dead then horn of winter then death and decay after that we're going to move into our single target dps rotation single target is very simple use icy touch to maintain your aggro pestilence to maintain your blood plague and frost fever death strike to heal yourself and then you should keep blood tap empowered rune weapon hysteria on cooldown at all times aoe use death and decay icy touch then plague strike pestilence to spread the disease and then blood boil. These are your cooldowns. You should use these anytime a significant amount of damage is coming in that you know is coming in. Rune tap, vampiric blood, icebound fortitude, anti-magic shell, and death pack. Six, best consumable for flasks and elixirs. The best one is going to be a flask of stone blood. Some alternatives that you could do is elixir of the mighty agility, elixir of mighty defense, and elixir of protection. For food, the best food is going to be the dragon fin. Some other alternatives is the super, snapper, extreme, and the worm steak potions indestructible potion seven the best profession first place for blood decays is going to be engineering they give you the rocket boots the cloak the glove and chance the sappers and the helmet second it's not far behind but it's going to be jewel crafting they give you the three unique gems and stamina tree kits blacksmithing mining leatherworking and enchanting come third which pretty much give you all the same stat bonuses and alchemy is going to sadly come last with only providing you 32 stamina well that's going to wrap up this video for blood death knight Let let me know down in the comments on what class you'd like to see next, and I hope you have a great day.